Hey guys, uh, this is Jack and welcome to another video. Um, this is just kind of a warning video for you guys who have the new MacBook Pros, specifically the 15 inch uh, MacBook Pros with discrete graphics, namely the GeForce GT 3310M. Uh, and um, Apple has stepped up their game with their switchable graphics technologies. And um, unlike my Ma MacBook Pro, which offers you a choice between um, insistent preferences as shown, an energy saver, you can choose graphics of better battery life, which is basically the NVIDIA 9400M, or higher performance, which requires you log out and automatically gives you the um, 9600M GT. Now, the new MacBook Pros have the Intel HD graphics, and the Intel HD graphics that are on the MacBook Pros, they are not as powerful as the previous 9400Ms uh, from NVIDIA, and that is because Intel's Graphics, te graphics technology is not as powerful as a a uh, NVIDIA or ATI for that matter. And um, well, there's a really big problem with the new switching of graphics. Now it's seamless, but when you it, previously you have to log out in order to switch the graphics, and now you have to it does it per app uh, based upon the application and based upon the load on a CPU and GPU. That's actually good for a few reasons. You don't have to log out. Uh, if you want to play a game or something like that. But it's also bad because some applications, for example, iPhoto here, um, iPhoto is more happy to sip on upon the sweet envy of nectar, quote, quote from Engadget, and um, that's not good because iPhoto and I doesn't use a lot of um, a lot of CPU or even GPU power at all. And um, it gets even worse because viewing like Picture viewing movie trailers in Chrome uh, automatically gives you up to discrete. And the problem with this is that once it goes to discrete, it doesn't like return you back to the um, integrated graphics once you're done. So, for example, if you're watching a 1080p video, which will require you to use discrete no matter what happens, except for the older Mac Pros, which had 9400M, um, the Intel HD graphics can handle it, so it bumps it up to the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GT 3310M. And the 3310M, uh, 3, it's a really nice processor, it's much faster than mine, like 30%, but it ships a lot of power, and once you're done viewing the video, it doesn't switch you back down. So that's kind of a, it's just not a good, uh, it doesn't step you back down the ladder. And that's not good because for your battery life. And since even Tweety, even Tweety is going to be sw switching over to the discrete graphics, and that's unnecessary at all. Intel's HD graphics are more than enough to power any majority of your you know uh, computing experience except for watching you know high def video anything past 720p it's gonna start making the fan spin and the GPU is gonna start freak out so this is kind of a warning video if you guys you know I, I'm hoping that some third-party developer out there will have you know a, a toggle utility that can force manually switch on uh, the discrete graphics or manually switch off the discrete graphics and that's my hope. So thanks guys for watching this video. Just kind of a warning to all you guys who purchased new MacBook Pros. Uh, don't get too excited. Your battery life might suffer a bit uh, due to this questionable graphic switching problem. So thanks guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.